All right, now that painful part is over, let's get back on our horse and figure out where the hell I need to go. Come, Argo, let us go for adventure, bully. So back in here again. Okay, let's see. I think I want to, to hang, oh no, I think I am going in the right, sort of right direction. Let's see here, or Nana could be completely leaving the area, damn it. Uh, no way, I think this is different, maybe? Unfortunately there's no light. Come on Argo, fine, I'm on foot. And we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Then a dragon appears! No. Actually, I'll go back on the road. And see if we can get some light so I can see where the hell I'm supposed to go. Of course, it's kind of hard to find light here if I remember correctly. Ah, yes, okay, I am kind of going in the right direction. This is part of that maze I was telling you about. Okay, ah, seem to be heading in the right direction. Oh my god, I'm heading in the right direction for once? And is that a place I spy? Little save point area? Cool. Let's go check it out. And indeed, it is a save point. Well, since, well, you know there's going to be lizards around, I think I'm going to skip, you know, me hunting lizard this time, because, yeah, it took too long, so, yeah, I'm going to stop and do it myself, and I'll cut that out, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Thought I saw it. Oh, well. I'm making it in a quit. Never mind. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Die! Okay, that one only took about four minutes this time. Good lord. I've been noticing that on these buildings, the hit detection with the bow and arrow. Save point. I have saved, so let us move on. But yeah, I don't know what it is with the buildings. It's just. I've hit targets on the ground lizards with no problem but it seems like if they're on the building they get like super armor and you it's really really hard to hit them their hitbox like turns into three pixels I don't get it okay uh, continue wandering around that wasn't it I'm probably gonna be jump cutting until I find the place so, if you do see cuts, uh, that's the reason why. But, uh, I, this kind of looks familiar. And I kind of dove headfirst into a cliff face. Yay! Ugh, sigh. Hey, is that a tail lizard I see? Indeed it is. It's away from a car. Let's see if I can actually shoot it. And I did! See? I proved my point. I could hit it at this distance, no problem. Dead on. If I shot like that on the freaking building, yeah, it wouldn't register, I bet. Ugh, I don't get it. Uh, am I going in the right direction? I don't know. Uh, 
sigh. Uh, probably gonna do a little jump kit here, I'm not sure. Oh well. If I find something interesting, yeah. And we're wandering, just like our namesake, Wonder. Wonder. Hmm. It's like this is kind of in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm getting horribly lost as usual. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I guess swords do work better in both arrows on buildings. Hmm, I'll have to give that a shot more often than not. Cool. That was sweet. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do that more often. Make myself actually look skillful in this game. Even though I am, but yeah, this el this walkthrough isn't helping that at all. Let's go ahead and save here again. We are in the yep, here in the Umbral Glade. I really love that name, Umbral Glade. Really cool. And she's a pretty cool looking area. Of course, I don't think I'm any closer. Okay, let's see here. Map. I've done a lot of wandering, I finally found where I was supposed to go, so, yeah. That was just to show you where I'm supposed to be, because I'm obviously going to do a jump cut to get to that point, so, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's kind of a bitch to find this place, I will admit this. Yeah, I'm supposed to head in here. Kind of went the long way. I think I could have went the desert way, but yeah. yeah. Oh well. This kind of a long trek, and yes, another uh, another point. So yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Remember that wall that I was trying to get through? Yeah, that was blocking our path. It's This is a ruined section of that wall that we can actually get through. So, yeah. So, we're a ruined city. Ooh. And it's a giant. Actually, it looks more like a dam of some sort. But yeah, it's kind of a river. And. Take the plunge! And oh my. Apparently it's down here. So. Okay. So what is our Colossus? It's a giant electric catfish? Oh god, we're fighting Volt Catfish. Dear god, where's X when we need him? Green Viper Dude, no! What am I fighting for? Oh, that is really cool looking. So, this is Hydrus. Hydrus in mythology, well, not even really mythology, he's a constellation. Hydrus, I believe, roughly translates into male sea snake or something, or water snake. Not to be confused with Hydra, which actually is the female water snake, and also, you know, the multi-headed beast of legend. So this thing, well, kind of really acts like a catfish. You know, we move around and it tries to swallow us up and go back down the hole, you know, into the water. <laughs> But what really sucks is the fact that, well, it's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. No. Those spikes on its body produce electricity, and it can, since it's in the water, it can create, create pools of electricity that will freaking hurt you. 
And as it surfaced, we gotta actually grab on it and ah, it failed there. That's okay, it'll come around. This is another one of these kind of passive Colossus fights, even though it is trying to actively electrocute us. And yeah, those groans just freaking really get to me. Actually, I remember this fight kind of freaking me out. Well, I was like about that one if it actually pops up. And uh oh, I think he's right below me. This could be bad. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. I got hit there. And there we go. And we are getting dragged under. Hopefully, it'll go back up. And the epic music kind of says, yeah, is going back up. Okay. What we gotta do is run across this beast. How we got we got those electric barriers in the way. So what we gotta do is there should be a spot on each one of them that we can hit and deactivate those electric spines. Yeah, about right there. See the glowy spot? You don't really have to charge up like I am. You can just stab them usually. You know, even quick stabs you can. Check out that one. Let's see if we can get to the third. Quickly, quickly now. Let's go back down. And it's going back up. Oh. There we go. Hurry up, hurry up. Get up there. Okay. Ah, frick, I missed. I can't believe that. Get back up. Ah, electrocution. And, oh crap, he's diving, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, this part freaks me out because after a while, he won't surface and he'll actually... Yeah, I'm letting go. He'll try to drown you, and... This part kind of freaks me out, seriously. Whew, got air, good. Cause yes, you can drown by... You can drown, so... Yeah, that's kind of freaky. Kind of, it kind of gives you a, kind of a helpless feeling, although it's kind of funny because I've actually... I do used to scuba dive, I've done uh, my training on that was funny as we actually had to do a manual scent without air I think from 30 or 40 feet under no 30 feet underwater controlled ascent not fast a slow ascent the thing is you can do it because when you're breathing underwater air compresses because of the pressure underwater so you actually have a lot more air than you think you do so to so go up you're slowly exhaling and you'll actually make it to the top without having to gasp for air, which is kind of cool. Anyway, enough about that. Let's put it into Volt Catfish's tyranny here. Okay. There we go. Alright, hopefully he won't. Okay, come on, surface. If you're wondering why I keep calling him catfish, even though he doesn't look anything like a cat, you know, channel catfish or anything like that, the design looks more like a Chinese catfish, which are very long and serpent like. Also, the fact that this thing looks like a dragon, too, a Chinese dragon if you look underwater, too. Which fits as well. Okay, gonna move quickly. I gotta get to the head before he decides to go on his crash dive again. I still got one more of those spikes to take out. I forgot about that. So we got some work cut out for me. Yeah, your time surface actually is a lot shorter as you get more to the head. At least in my opinion. And there we go. Okay, that will leave only his vulnerable spot, which is right there. Ah, he dove. Get back up. There we go. 
and stabulation. Come on, surface. Okay. Get in. Ah. Oh, managed to stab him underwater. That was pretty cool. Yeah, come on, one more time, one more time. I can do it. Uh, maybe not. Oh, come on, don't. There we go, okay. That's the last time I'm gonna get. Woohoo! Got him! As he goes into a death wall. Wow. Now I fell in that core. Yeah, I wasn't kidding, he's going into a freaking death wall. Glub, glub, glub the sub. Wow, that's pretty deep. Well, better swim out of here. Luckily, I got some time and distance from the tentacles this time. Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near land. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, why did I say the F word? Oh, well. Ah, surprise butt sex! And he dies. Seriously, he should be drowning right now. Hmm, no voice this time. Interesting. Whew. Yes, I'd like to say that took a lot longer than I expected. Anyway, next time I will hopefully get less lost getting to the next Colossus. Unfortunately, the next one's kind of annoying. So, see ya.